Hello everyone, this is True Blade and welcome back to more Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. Last time we got we got further into the into the ancient tomb. Got the power glove, a failed NES accessory, which I can't stop making fun of, and and we got and we beat the mini boss, the blue stalfo, so now we have a warp point set back up for the beginning of the dungeon, although we really don't need it though. I would recommend going going if you need if you need like restock on some things like like for instance if you are low on health and need a and, and, oh, oh wait, I already went that way. Like if you if you need the blue if you need to go get to more another magic potion is what I'm saying. But now if we go this way here, go this way here. Got another one of these rooms here, so I'm gonna go and showcase what this one is first. So, cause actually I don't think this is required. If memory serves me correctly, I don't think this part's required, but. I do want to show this off, just to, just, just to physically show what I, everything I can with, the, with these games. You're going to want the Pegasus Seeds though, because you will not be fast enough otherwise. So, you want, because see, the lava was already flow back like, even with even with me using the Pegasus Seeds. And I just realized that I'm not using the, the, the ring. But yeah, all this does is just take you back to this area here, so you can move this block and basically create a passage back. All it really is not not really important. It's it's pretty much it's pretty much a waste if you, it's pretty much a good backtrack I think if you want to try to restock a little bit without leaving the dungeon. But this is where the way we need to go. This is why we need that key and why I was wrong about well being able to do this in any order. But now we got another one another one of these. And again I I don't I don't think I mentioned this though but yep brought back once again from the. From, from the Skull Dungeon. Got another one of these things. And I don't get how moving this basically allows the lava to go away for a bit. I don't get how that works. I don't get it either, but... Got a, another slate. Ancient words are written on it. But now we go up this way here. You might want to go, go this way now. I think you could have gotten yeah you, yeah you could have gone this you could have gone this way from the other room as well so you could you could have gone over here first as opposed to going that way first but I think it's quicker this way but this is the room I was talking about actually I don't I know one of these things I can't remember which one it is there it is okay you got a staircase down here and you get you got a and you get a little glimpse at the at the bottom floor which has it which we have a treasure chest here a key. So let's go this way here. Let's quick switch over there, and it's the boss key. Yes, you do not want to miss this. Now, okay, now I'm gonna let's see what's over this way here. Get a little, get a little hint up as far as the rest of the. Uh, get a little hint as far as like some of the upcoming stuff, but up this way here. Move this block down here, and I don't think. Yeah, once again, another recurring puzzle that's back once again in Ancient Tomb. This this place is a, kind of like a culmination of the puzzles from the different dungeons. And I don't remember seeing it, and I might be wrong, but I don't remember seeing this from since, well, Moonlit Grotto. There might have been another room, another place with that. But if you had a, your sh if you have a shield, ow, the, the tiles will just bounce off. You have to watch where you hit, where they hit you though, because if they hit you to the side, they can still hit. From the right angle, they can still hit you. Actually, oh, I didn't know that either. So, oh yeah, you, so you can also use your shield to block to block those as well. But you gotta get past, so you need the rocks feather. Like I said, that's my problem with the shield in this game. Is a lot of times it's, I find that something else, when you use have something else to use for it, is there something else that kind of does it better? That's kind of my main problem with the shield in this game. It's kind of why I don't really use it much. Aside for those required times. But it's still a very useful item. Oh gosh, this room. You got a ball of chain soldier, which can do, do a lot of damage. And you got and you got ice physics. So yay, ice physics. There is a ring that there is a ring that will let you not slide around, but I think if memory serves me correctly, it's a linked game special. So you're not gonna get it in this run. You're not gonna get it initially. You will have to struggle through ice physics one way or another. But if you can get that ring, it is very helpful. 
I, I, I think it's a linked. I think it's. I think it's one of the linked game passwords. The, oh no! 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 Not these guys again! I hate these things. My my strategy for this room is light one and try to get back into this part here because it's very rare where they can get in there. But yet the danger is. But the danger then is not to just leave the room by accident. All right, let's see here. All right, let's get hit you. Gonna hit you. Oh gosh, jump, jump. Okay, so see if I can get back over to that area there. Do not go. There we go. Oh gosh, I hate that room because there's no cover for those enemies. All right. They also got a, they got a weird pronunciation. They got a weird sounding name that I've seen like on the like on the Zelda wikis and that can. Like I said, I know the, there's a fan named Candlehead for them, but I don't. But I know that's not their official name. I'll put on screen what they're called, and I'm not even gonna bother trying to pronounce it because I can't. But yeah, guess what? And guess what? We got more underwater segments as well. As if Jabu Jabu and Murmur's Cave wasn't enough. I suppose it does fit with the whole ancient tomb blending elements from all the from from pretty much all the previous dungeons. Oh wait, what do you gotta say? What, what do you gotta say, Al? I'm at a, I'm at a bad angle. All right, paths open when ancient words are mastered. That's pretty much something that we've kind of already figured out. So yeah, that that, that time it was kind of that would have been nice to have that statue there by the room with that. But yeah, this room here, you gotta be very careful with these currents because it. You, you gotta struggle against the currents trying to get into this area. This little here, uh, not fall into those little. Whatever these things are called, they're. The, the little vortexes. But you wanna go this way here, and this is where they are jerks. So you go this way first. So that's what you're drawn to. And there's nothing here, it just leads you the way back. So where's. But there's still something up there. So how do you get over there? It's further down over here. It's like that, as I think, was the most jerkishly placed way they could do that. And that this was the one that stumped me for a long time when I was, when I finally got to this point. But yeah, there's that, and we got four. We got. Oh, I hit the wrong button. There's no, this floor's cleared out, and we got four slates. So I'd say now we can open up that passage now. Now we got four. We got four of them, so we can now finally go that way. And and I think we're coming up sh shortly at the end of this dungeon. I will say though, as much as that headache this dungeon can be at times, though, I love the boss fight. I love this boss. Well, y y you'll see in a little bit once I get there. Actually, I don't want the. Actually, I might need. The... Actually, I don't think I need to switch. We'll see. I think I may need the bombs first. But yeah, each of these slates, each of these little stone slates here will fit into fit in here, and you fit one into each one of these, and then, as we saw from the one on the first floor, opens up a new passage. Very, very nice. I was like, that's a, I'll, it's an interesting mechanic, but it might they might as well be they might as well be keys is the thing. But I guess it does fit the it. It is a unique thing. It does fit with the theme of the dungeon, but like for all types of purposes, it might as well just be that. Okay, let that bomb that. And in true fashion of this dungeon, we got we gotta have multiple things we gotta get through in order to get to that boss door. I will say though, I think I just threw the sarcophagus on onto that bat. That, that's kind of cool. All right, I would recommend starting off with your sword and bombs. You will need multiple items for this boss. And that's why I love it. All right. Stonehead and hands. This is Ramrock. Right now, Ramrock, all Ramrock will do is, is shoot the, is try to punch with those hands. You gotta, you gotta use your sword to shoot him back at him. And just try to hit him. So stand like around the middle of the room and just keep swinging the sword once they come at you. Best way to do this, but. But, 
after he takes a, after he takes enough hits, he'll he'll switch up. This is probably the most confusing one. You want to toss a bomb into that little slot where he's like, into where he's like crushing his hand with his stone claws. The timing can get a bit weird though. So, but it's just a little trial and error. But and like, and and no, him hitting the thing won't necessarily trigger the explosion. You would think. Okay. Okay, that one did happen a little early, but it worked out there. Okay. Three hits. Okay, so now switch to your seed shooter, and I would recommend Rock's Feather as well for this part. Now he's got shields for his hands, and well, you can't you can't sh you can't shoot him because he'll just block, so Ow, that actually hurt. And you basically gotta shoot you basically gotta sh reflect it back this way to you basically gotta reflect the shots back at from the behinds in order to hit in order to get around his guard. I like how I just love how it's the boss that adapts his strategy. Alright, so where are you? He's got another attack in this form. I'm trying to see if I can get him to do it as well. Okay, nope, not that's not it. Okay, I mistimed it. Are you gonna do that other attack, please? Can I, Cause I do want I want to show it. Okay, I think he's doing it. Yeah, he shoots. He can shoot lasers across there, and I missed it. But you can jump over with Rock's feather. All right, and now we got another form as well. Now we have. You're gonna want your power glove for this. He's got two wrecking balls for hands now, and whoa! Normally he just shoots just shoots one, but look, when he shoots one, you want to grab the other one, pull it away from him, and just let it slam into his face. Simple as that. But. So with this, maybe, and with that, he is done. My easily my favorite boss in this game is the fact because the fact you have like so many there's so many strategies that you have to go through. I mean, you got the first form where you just bounce this back though. You have the bombs, you got the seed shooter, and you have the you use the item of the dungeon. So it uses more than just the item that you get in this dungeon to beat him. And that is why I love this boss so much. It is. It's something I wish more Zelda bosses would do, rather than just have that we one weakness with that. And a boss that adapts its strategy as well. You got the Falling Star, an essence of time. The eternal light of this heavenly body acts as a guide to the other essences. That is our final essence of time! I am content! That is number eight, so we are coming up near the end of our adventure here. Now we do that... Now we got the young Maka tree to talk to us, and... Thank you, Link. You've gathered all the essences of time. Now I can create something that will aid you. Link, please visit me after you've, after you've grown up. I'll wait for you, no matter how long. After you've grown up? Like, wait, after I've grown up? Don't you mean after you've grown up? Because you're still a seedling at this point. Okay, but yeah, as I showed before, we cannot warp out of here, so... Not, not warp. We cannot tra time travel out of here. Actually, wait. Wait. Because there's a guy here too, so I'm gonna see if there's what, what's hidden over here before I go before I go much further. Because I think there's a if memory serves me correctly, I think there's a there's some pa cavern here with a ring which you can't get until after you get the power glove. But but I still hate those Lionels. They are jerkish. Okay, there's a chest here with the ring. Okay, so I was kind of, I was kind of right. Let's see, I think that's the I think that's it. I'm just gonna double check to make sure, but I think that's it. Yeah, that's just another passage. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get the. I'm gonna go ahead and get this. So. And and at this, all the legends said that once you come to this place, you can never return. Well, we're the hero. We're, we are the hero. Well, I guess the hero of... Th you could argue that it's the kind of hero of time considering he's traveling back and forth in time in this one, though, but... I don't know if that's the one that you, they call it in this one. I don't think that's how they call it in this one, so... But because of that, we have our ways out. We have a way out. In spite of that. So... I'm gonna go just check to make sure there's nothing else hiding before I go back. I think... I think not, though. Nope, there isn't. So now we have that. So let's use our trusty Gale Seed and get out of here, of this place where we would normally be trapped otherwise. South Shore. Over here. And I could go check those other 
get those gacha seeds out now, but I think I'm gonna end this off here. So next time on Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages, we'll be checking out those gacha seeds, hopefully, and I will make sure to get that last collectible before I go to the final boss, but... But then I will be, but then I'll be see the Makatree to see what she has, and then hopefully we can finally go to the Black Tower and confront Varen. So until then, see you guys then.